Hey, yo, sneaker fam worldwide, we're back for the 200th time. It's Canada God Soul True Science Podcast. Yeah. Maybe we should have got Adam to do it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you got overshadowed, Lawrence. <laughs> Dang. I said I, I'm I think, not paid enough to do this. <laughs> I think we, we need to end the episode early this week and not in a good way. <laughs> what, what's going on, everyone? And welcome to True to Size. We are a weekly podcast centered around the wild world of sneakers. I will be your host today. My name is Lawrence Hopkins, and I'm joined by the rest of the quarantine team at Canada Got Soul, Mr. Joel Hernandez. Yo! See, Alex, come on. You got a professional over here. like <laughs> Mr. Alvin Martinez. Hello. Also very good. Uh, we got two former guests on with us this week. It is episode 200. Last week, we promised you the most prime, pristine, illustrious guests for episode 200, and they were all busy. So (laughs) (laughs) we got very, very close to the next best thing. They're not going to get a little rap intro thing because they've been here too many times for that. And I can't think of that many things that rhyme with Suji Cyphersons. So first, (laughs) Alex, what up, bro? (laughs) Hey, so happy to be here, but I'm kind of like regretting. (laughs) (laughs) It's so funny because before the podcast, I was like bigging him up. I was like, we got our favorite people to come on the podcast. He's like, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Immediately, the ego is just like. (laughs) And we also have Adam Taylor, Mr. Sneaker Closet. What up, sir? How you doing, man? I'm glad to be like your fifth or sixth choice for tonight's episode, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot, guys. (laughs) Top 10 is still really good, though. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we only have 10 friends, but top 10 is still really good. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, before we get started, obviously, I didn't write anything down for this, and I probably should have, but episode 200 is pretty cool. Um, it honestly literally feels like a month ago that we recorded episode 100, where we Ooh. had, what, 10 people in a room together? Yeah. Um, Adam was there. Um, Alex would have been there if he didn't live so far away um and that was like super super fun so i mean to be now at episode 200 i think it's two years later at this point i think that mm. i think we recorded that in 2020 no 2019 2019 yeah three years it was, it was literally years. like locked down right yeah. after we met up yeah. so this is three years yeah i think so what? <laughs> i mean i didn't think you guys would make a dozen episodes and here you are proving me wrong with 200 <laughs> You were giving us a dozen? The over-under was set at six. So. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, again, like that feels like it was just yesterday. I'm actually shocked that that was three years ago um, now because that feels like so recent. But uh, yeah, I mean, shout out to everybody who's rocked with us for five years now, five, six years now. Damn. Holy, holy crap. Crazy. Yeah. Um, 200 episodes is a lot. Uh, we ran out of stuff to talk about like 150 episodes ago, but we've still been going. Uh, we appreciate every single person who tunes in, um, Mm. nearing in on 110,000 downloads lifetime, which is not a small number of, uh, years listening to our voices. So, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you guys so much. And we apologize Mm. for the last six years. Um, (laughs) so to kick it off, we did this last week too, and I enjoyed it. So we're going to do it again because once again, it's our podcast. So fuck it. Uh, it's like a fire round before the fire round before the fire round. And this question I'm going to ask you guys is so outside of sneakers, because obviously we're all really smart with sneakers. Mm. Um, what do you think you could host a podcast about for 200 episodes? Shit. This is not like I could do a really solid hour on this. This is like 200 episodes, six years. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, um, you know, what, what do you have one, the knowledge about two, the passion about three, like the, the never ending content about that you could continue it going. Um, I'll start while you guys think, because there's, it's, I'm sure it's a very short list for everybody. <laughs> there just can't be that many yeah. things. Um, mine's going to come as no surprise. I wish I had a different answer, but mine would probably be Disney, like the Disney parks. Um, mm. There's just like always shit that's going on down there. And I really enjoy following all like the Instagram and social media accounts related to like, 
covering all the stuff that goes on down there. So I think that quite easily I could probably talk about it for at least an hour a week. Um, so I'm gonna go with that as mine. Alvin, what about you? Let's go to you next. I think, first of all, I think that po- podcast should be called Doggy Styling at Disney. Um, oh, nice. Incredibly inappropriate. <laughs> yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Workshop that one. Um, <laughs> uh, mine, oh man. Uh, I, I could probably talk about food mm. oh. for 200 episodes. Why? I am a well fed <laughs> individual. Um, I like to explore, you know, new foods and taste almost everything. Mm. And uh, yeah, man, who can't talk about food? You know, Ooh. valid, valid point. Uh, Joel, 200 episodes, six yeah. years, weekly podcast. Other than sneakers, what would it be about? Man, this is tough. I don't even know. Um, I'm looking around. You're looking my... around like you're not in a room filled with laundry. Shoes. <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like laundry. No, not laundry. <laughs> um, I don't know. Get back to me. Get back to me. I'll get back to you. Okay. Get back you have to me. another yeah, yeah. two minutes to think about it. Yeah. Alex, Suji Cypherson's. You have well, go ahead. I have a podcast. It's, plug, called, plug, plug. Tales of, it's called Tales of the Cypher, and uh, we're 73 episodes deep. Um, we actually took a break, uh, an elongated break since October, but uh, it's funny enough. Today, we booked our first guest in six or seven months, and uh, we're, we're back with season three, um, hopefully next week, if not in the next two weeks. It's a podcast about um, the history of breaking the dance that we know as breakdance uh, in Quebec, uh, but we've started to like kind of like spread our wings to the rest of Canada. So we're, we're talking to people from the scene every week. Uh, well, we did that for seven, 73 weeks, but we didn't do it for six months, but whatever. <laughs> but, but, but essentially, <laughs> I, all, all that to say that I think we have enough. Um, there, like breaking is a, uh, like, a, like a dance that's been around for so long that I think that even six years is not enough to share the, the whole history of breaking uh, at the pace of an hour a week per for a podcast. So I think we, we will have content forever because it's set, it's been 73 episodes and we have yet to even cover every single crew that's been around in, in the scene since the eighties. So, so my, uh, so I would do something about breaking and um, because you guys know that I've been like outdoors, like outdoors boys for the last two, the two years, I'd love to kind of like meet people that are doing like those extraordinary adventures in the wild and uh, maybe like a podcast about like, I don't know, taking life outside, doing like cool outside stuff, you know? That's so, cool. Yeah. Damn, that was a good tagline already. Damn. Take, yeah, man. Take, take life outside the podcast. <laughs> I think we got something there. <laughs> Speaking of take life outside, Adam, <laughs> what would yours be about? <laughs> uh, uh, no, I mean, uh, I would probably nerd out with gear, EDC gear, and I could go on for. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Yes. A decade. Ooh. I mean, I'm looking around the room. There's enough stuff in here that is not shown on camera and stuff that would get me in trouble with TSA and stuff like that. <laughs> but I mean, we could seriously talk about gear, outdoor gear, everyday mm-hmm. carry gear, things like that for accessories, things like that for a long time. Nice. Anyone could talk about, it, talk about it for a long time. Adam could talk about it for forever, like yeah. forever. longer than a yeah. long time. Yeah. <laughs> I think we can go six months on what's just in my pockets today. Anyway, there's no need for that many down. knives to go to the grocery store, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then you gotta have other stuff. You know, yeah. you gotta have pens. You gotta have anyway. Yeah, yeah we could go on for How six many years. Pockets? Do you have? <laughs> He's got like bottomless <laughs> cargo pants, bro. Yeah. Pull it out of his socks and everything. I've seen his Seriously. pants. He wears skinny jeans. Like I know. Like, I'm old for that. Don't tell anybody. But yeah, yeah, yeah no. But he's got long legs, bro. The long pockets. Long legs. <laughs> long he's pockets. Got a lot of pockets. <laughs> long pockets. What you gotta do, man? We're all into something, but yeah, man, that'd be an easy one yeah. for me. It's true. You know what they say about long legs? A lot of pockets. <laughs> 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 all right, Joel. We've given all you right. the time. So I, I thought you didn't spend about the whole it. Thing laughing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I thought about it, and 
I'm going to do, a, I, I think I could do like a podcast for like, like 200, 200 plus episodes on like hauntings. Oh, on things like ghouls and goblins and stuff. Like, yeah, you I, could. I'm all into that shit. So yeah, man, I could probably do something like that. Um, like even like do like explorations, like you know, Ooh. in and around town and stuff like that. And ghost hunting. Let's go, bro. Yo, let's go. You could like collab with Adam and Alex on their like outdoors one, and you go to like haunted mountains or forests <laughs> or whatever, and yeah. do like collaborate. There you go. Like Bigfoot sightings and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he yeah, brings man. so many knives to the grocery store what a big yeah, see? <laughs> you never know man. you, you never, never know. know adam's gonna be the last one laughing when there's a chupacabra running around <laughs> and he's the one who has <laughs> nine pocket knives yeah. <laughs> when the zombies hit i'm ready he's all i gotta say is when the zombies come man, go. come on over we're good we got, enough yeah. you got alvin's attention with that one <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. So again, that was the fire round before the fire round. I don't have a name for that. Uh, so we've got a really fun show for everybody this week. We're starting starting with a Kobe related fire round question, like the actual fire round question. And I know Alex is just going to excel at the Kobe related content. Mm -hmm. Um, we've got some news, I guess we'll call it news about, uh, DJ Khaled and Jordan brand. And he said another one, like a lot of times with that. Um, yeah. And after all that, we're going to talk about irrational fears during NSR. Um, Adam said he wasn't going to come on the podcast uh, if we did any quizzes. So naturally, we're right. going to end the episode with quizzes. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's an exit button somewhere. Up there. <laughs> there's an exit button. There's if, if we were to have happy guests on this podcast, it would be no fun. So we make sure they're as miserable as possible from the time we hit record. <laughs> Um, but first, Joel, fire round. yes, the fire round. We'd like to start every show with a quick hitting question from you, our listeners. And this week's question comes from Gerald C. Good friend Tone. of the show from you. time, probably from, from time, early, yo, from early, early, early episodes, like before 100s. Oh, for sure. Before 100s. Yeah. Um, OG, OG. So he says with the Kobe line being continued one, would you want to see new silhouettes release? And two, which pairs would you hope to see get retroed? Um, we'll start with the first part first, naturally. And I think I would like to see the Kobe line continue. Like with like, I think they ended at the AD, which obviously now is a very morbid name for a sneaker, um, knowing what we know. But uh that was the last one I remember. They might have done like the NXT, but I think it was still part of the AD because it was like after he um, retired and they were doing some good stuff. Like the NXT 360 or whatever it was called was like really highly regarded basketball shoe. So I, I think that they should continue it. I think they should continue because that's where they always pumped a lot of the new technology in like Nike basketball was in the Kobe line. So if you're not putting it there, where are you really putting it? Um, you're not going to put it back into a Kobe six. So it just makes sense to continue it and like continue his legacy. Similar, not exactly the same in parallel, but similar to Jordan brand. Like they have now, what are they on 36 or something? Like they didn't just stop when he retired. Um, so yeah, I would like to see it continue. I think for sure, as long as they do it right, which is a different story, but yeah, I think they should do it. Definitely continue it. Um, Alvin, yes or no to the continuing the line. Yeah, I think they could do some good with that. But I would say, like, work with a quote unquote Kobe player to mm. help create it. So, mm -hmm. like, maybe give D Book uh, a sneaker mm -hmm. that he could do and, and name it like a Kobe, whatever. Um, maybe a Kobe DB, like Devin Booker, Ooh. or even like uh, DeMar DeRozan. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kobe Double D would be dope. Um, but, That's like, cool just name. work with those players who are still, <laughs> like, in the league. And we'll actually like appreciate, you know, having that name uh, on a pair of sneakers that they helped to possibly create. Because, like, yeah. I mean, you could just create a Kobe and just call it like, you know, Kobe and it will still do amazing. But if you could like tie it to a player who is also a fan of that person who also plays very, very similar to that person being Kobe, then I mean, I feel like that's only success for everybody. So we'll see what happens. Yep, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, Joel, what are you thinking? Um, 
Yeah, man, it'd be it would probably be pretty dope to see like new silhouettes come out um to see what they can you know think of like design wise and tech wise as well um to to continue the kobe to to continue the kobe line um would they go high would they get would they go low um a lot of these basketball shoes now are all low cuts seems like it so and you know kobe seemed to like love his uh low cut so um but yeah, I like to see that continue. One one pair that, or one silhouette that I would like to see uh, come back with, like you know, various various um, colorways. Because I'm looking at my Kobe poster, Kobe sneaker poster, um, the Kobe three. Ooh, if they could do that again, um, that'd be pretty dope. With like different different designs and whatnot, colorways and stuff like that. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, man. How about that, Kobe? Yeah, I like that, and I I, I like that we have Adam on here because he does not wear pretty much any basketball shoes whatsoever. Like even Jordans is a stretch. But you own some Kobe's, which is like out of nowhere, yeah. kind of. <laughs> for you, player, man, for sure. So, yeah, so more do, than Jordan, for sure. Do you think that uh, they should continue the Kobe line, like the lineage? So- I think I got probably a slightly different opinion. I think it's more of a question for everyone else. What do you guys think of like the Jordan 30, 31, 32, 33? Does anybody give a shit? So that's performance kind of wise, yeah. Performance yeah. wise, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. Yeah. But we think I want them to continue to release. I'm a huge fan of the sixes. So mm. release more sixes just because I only have one or two. Love them. You know what I mean? I like the sevens too, not as popular. You know what I mean? The 10s were great. Like a lot of those, I'd like to see a lot more, not necessarily retros, but just continue. And I know it's not popular to put new tech in old shoes, like you said earlier, Mm -hmm. but if they evolved certain things on some of the more popular, I would personally rather see that because nobody gives a shit about a shoe, a Jordan 35. Nobody cares. And I'd hate to see Kobe have Kobe 26s and nobody cares. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, my opinion. I could see that. Yeah. I, I think that Sean Collard would beg to differ that nobody yeah, cares about that. Yeah. There's going to be that one guy, <laughs> that one guy that buys them all. Yeah. And you walk into a lot of the American Nike stores, as you guys know, and you see them all on the wall and it looks so bloody cool. But who's buying them? Yeah. Yeah. Very, very valid. Um, Alex, I know this is not your forte by any means, but any opinion on the subject matter? <laughs> uh, I, I kind of do have a question as well um like don't you guys find it would be weird that they would release some new kobe's when well kobe's not around like i i'm sure that kobe wasn't behind any if not all of the designs but i'm sure that there was a team that would present to him some of the stuff and he would kind of like stamp it yes or no Mm -hmm. it I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if it kind of we. It feels it feels like it's a stretch to to kind of keep prompting new styles if Kobe is not like behind. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's yeah, it, it kind of feels weird. Not here, yeah. Right. So, and I and I, I think uh, it's funny because I'm, sh- I'm. I think I if I think we had a conversation about Kobe the last time that I was on because the deal was just like was just ending and mm-hmm. we were kind of like wondering like i i think that's what I, I brought something about like michael jordan like if michael jordan was not around anymore would was would we still want to see like new jordan styles come out like would it even make sense that michael wouldn't be around and we would still we would see some new jordans like come out so that's what i kind of question um but my knowledge about kobe is pretty minimal but I do want to see some Adidas Kobe retro. Oh yeah. That's yeah. a really, yeah, really yeah. valid point actually. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're I'm... super, super on par with that. I think that ties into like making sure they do it properly. Yeah. I think that, I mean, it's obviously not the same thing, but if you have like Vanessa Bryant in the room, who's like signing off on stuff and is like playing in stuff, then there's like, obviously that valid. factor would help. Um, yeah. That's a really, really good point. I think after us talking about it, I'm torn either way. I could, again, if they do it right, there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. And it just depends on the way that they roll it but, out. Uh, like, do you guys think that there's enough, like there's enough, like uh catalog to kind of like, just like 
live off retros for a couple years at least. Oh, easily. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Easily. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. Yeah. Easily. It's just like Kobe's shoes were always one of those things that, like, I mean, for me at least, like when I got into sneakers in like 20, 2009 ish, it was like the Nike basketball heyday. And it was like LeBron, Kobe, KD. And like mm-hmm. KD's kind of fallen off. And LeBron is kind of like hit or miss, but you don't see a whole lot of people hooping in LeBron's and Kobe has been like the constant Mm -hmm. since like, Oh nine. Like that's like the model um, Mm -hmm. that people like always stick with. People love the Kobe line and even the newer stuff, people were still rocking with it, which you don't really see. Like you don't see people hooping in like the LeBron. What what are they on? Like, I don't even know they're on. Like that tells you something. 19. Hey, I don't know. Um, So yeah, I think that, there's definitely something to continuing it, but there's also something to continuing it correctly, which are obviously two very different conversations. So very, very, very valid points. Um, mm. Let's just go around the horn with the second part of the question. So one, I know it's hard to choose one pair. You'd like to see get a retro, whether it, I'll put the caveat, whether it actually released to the public or not um, could be any Kobe that ever existed. I'm going to go with, Fuck, I should have thought about this before I asked the question. Um, I'm going to go with a pair that Adam has, and it's the K. Yao Kobe 6. Uh, yeah. Really, Ooh. really like that pair, the breast cancer awareness uh, pair. The pink is, like, perfect, and the the like, it's just white and pink. It's like they didn't add any, like, fluff to it. They were just like, here's a white and pink sneaker. Here you go. And they're just so well done. Um, I don't think they were all that expensive, uh when like back in the day obviously i mean for back in the day they were probably expensive but i mean compared to now it's probably a different story if adam bought them then they couldn't have been that expensive because he never pays <laughs> anything <laughs> above retail so um you, there you go yeah so no one's giving a 400 dollars gift so <laughs> there you go no, um no, yeah especially to you um so yeah, I think uh, I would choose the KO Kobe six personally. Alvin, what about you? This is a tough question because anything Kobe like four, five, six, eight is like money for me. Um, but I will go with my favorite like Kobe basketball silhouette um, that I had. I used to have multiple pairs of, which is the Kobe eight. If they start retroing that, like it's it's over for me like it's any colorway i don't care what colorway it is like that shoe for me was like the best ball shoe when it first came out and then for years and years afterwards as well until that lunar launch started to die on me and my achilles started to hurt but <laughs> besides that that was literally like grip wise fit wise comfort wise that was one of the best ball shoes i've had in life so if they were to retro the kobe 8 like i'd be a happy camper you know I think that's pretty well renowned as one of the better of the line too, performance wise, just like mm-hmm. they really got it right with that shoe. Um, Joel, a specific, uh, we're going to let Alvin cheat with not choosing a colorway, a specific pair you'd like to see retro. Um, like I said, uh, from, from before the Kobe three, uh, I don't know. I think it's just the whole netting of it and just the way it looks just different and whatnot. Um, colorway um i don't even know like maybe just like a simple laker colorway mm-hmm. with the purple and gold splash a little white there or some even even like a black purple and gold like if, if that even exists or shit just do a do a nike by you kind of thing so then you know everybody can have, <laughs> everybody can be happy <laughs> yeah <laughs> i said pick a colorway he said i want to pick a colorway <laughs> yeah, I know. um adam what about you a pair you'd like to see come back I'll return the favor. I want your galaxies. If oh. one of them could come back, I know you have those. That's probably the one that I would be looking for the most. Ooh. That's a very good pair. Very, very good yeah. pair. Um, all right, Alex, this might be a deep cut, but <laughs> anything that you well, would like to see come back? <clears throat> crazy eight. <laughs> well, I was kind of trying to Google it while you guys were talking. <laughs> and I know that like a Grinch is like the, a favorite yeah. for... Yeah. A lot of uh, Kobe enthusiasts, so I would say the Kobe uh, Grinch. Uh, otherwise, the crazy seven or eight, the EQT pair, like the the, the purple joints. Mm. Yeah, Adidas, I think that this this would make a decent uh, retro for like in my books. I think the the last two pairs I've seen were like in the in the thousands of dollars. So mm-hmm. like, 
I'd be more than happy to to pay like a, a reasonable and decent price. And I've been like rocking a rocking a little bit of like basketball classics. So I wouldn't mind deep diving into like 90s basketball classics as well. Sure. So uh, what voilà. up? So that would be my pick. But I'll, I'll say the Grinch for you, uh, Lawrence. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. They just sure. came out a year and a half ago, but thank you. I know, but um, I know. But- <laughs> Enough, right? <laughs> yeah you you gave an answer which is more than i expected so thank you <laughs> okay, bad, well, right? <laughs> well done very well done um that was a long fire round damn if you would like to submit a question for the yeah. fire and have us answered on the pod please shoot us a message on instagram or email us like canada got soul at gmail.com next up the cgs picks each week we all pick an upcoming sneaker to analyze dissect and give our thoughts on then we decide if it's poop scoop whoop de whoop or alvin's trademark phrase Say très joli. There we go. Say yeah. hey. Trying to impress the Frenchman over there. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Don't you already think, know. Don't think it worked. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm, I'm going to go first before Alvin continues to say random French words on the entire oui. rest of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go. So my pick this week is I chose a different colorway from this collection previously. And I remember saying, if this comes out in this colorway, I'm going to be faced with a tough decision because I'm probably going to have to buy it. And say, say voila or whatever, c'est là, who knows? Um, it's it's happening. Yeah, see, he's not impressed with that. Um, <laughs> and now I don't know what to do. So the parent question is the Nike Air Force One mid Stussy collaboration. We spoke about this like in the fall and I spoke on the white and black one and I was like, if this was a low or this was a high, I'd be down. And I was like, I don't know why they're not continuing what they did with the last one and doing like the hemp up upper on the mid. Like they should just add that to everything. Now it's so dope. And I was like, if they did that, then I would like consider it. Well, voila, they have now revealed the third pair of this uh, Stussy Air Force One mid pack. And it is the hemp upper on the, Air Force One mid, uh, literally an exact replica of the Air Force One low that came out a couple of years ago. Just a mid cut obviously has the strap. Um, same thing, embroidered swoosh, embroidered Stussy branding um, on the toe box. You've got like a pony hair on the heel counter, just all around like a really, really cool shoe. Now, I don't know. Do I buy it? <laughs> is the question. Mm. <laughs> like, it's just a air force one mid i don't know i don't know how how do you wear it what do you do um i don't know so i'm gonna call it cute because i feel obligated to do so and i do really 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 love the air force one low that i picked up last year from stussy so it's not impossible i definitely would not have this on my radar if i missed at retail um but it's not impossible that on release day i just try my luck and if it shows up at the door it shows up at the door you know it's one of those uh and then i just have to figure out how to wear air force one mids again like i'm in high school um so yeah that's that's my pick alvin what do you got uh first of all you gotta watch the nelly air force ones video and then get baggy baggy pants and then rock the strap not properly by not putting it on um i have the (laughs) Goosebumps X Kawi Leonard. Oh, uh, did you guys see that though? <laughs> this guy, Kawi Leonard. I did see that. That yeah. was horrible. It's Kawhi. Um, but Kawhi Leonard uh, and New Balance did like a collab with Goosebumps for the Kawhi D. Um, for those of you who don't know, D is two. And um, <laughs> for those of you that don't know, wow. <laughs> you never know, man. You never, you never know. know. You never That's know. That's true. Uh, these release on 420. Which is also, you know, everyone knows what 420 is. Um, it's going to retail for about $160 USD. Um, and yeah, the details are pretty dope. Like, I mean, the colorway, it's going to be predominantly black with hints of vault, purple, and then some orange in there as well. Uh, on the insole, you have like uh, the Goosebumps branding. You have that G, the infamous Goosebumps G in there. Um, and then the Kawhi on the tongue is also within the Goosebumps font. And a bunch of Easter eggs in here as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I mean, I don't know, man. I haven't tried any New Balance sneakers yet for basketball, but I would definitely love to. But these are cool. I really like that, like, you know, other brands are trying to hit you in the um, nostalgia like other brands have in the past. Like, I know Adidas does it a lot with the Simpsons and a bunch of other things, but 
this is dope, man. No one's I don't think anyone's done a Goosebumps collab yet. Um, but yeah, on the Kawhi too, they look pretty good. And then it's cool because the apparel that it like comes with or matches with uh on the back of the t-shirt is like a cover um of a Goosebumps novel or book. Ooh. And I believe it's just it's Kawhi. And then I can't really see a picture, but it's pretty dope, man. I think they did a pretty good job with this collab. I'm gonna call this a super duper cute. Um, just because I don't know. I don't know. I don't really need ball shoes right now, but I, I we'll see. Super cute for now. You always need ball shoes, bro. What do you mean? We'll, we'll see, man. We'll see. Everybody always needs ball shoes. Yeah, uh, bro. Joel, what do you got for us this week? Okay. So what I got is the New Balance 2002R. Um, it's like an outdoorsy kind of colorway. Uh, it's got like... Um, I don't know, like the materials on these are just crazy. Um, and it's got also a removable pouch. That's you got Adam's removable. attention. Yeah, man. That's for your so, weed, guys. Man. That's for your That's, weed. Yeah, man, for <laughs> real. <laughs> so what it is is that um, it's like long hair, short hair, suede, um, rip stop on the, on the toe box, um, leather. Come on, man. Like materials are just crazy the the la letra n is in navy <laughs> um but yeah uh crazy materials um these are these look really really good uh the removable pouch it's sort of like designed in a way where so if you look down at your foot it's sort of like in a triangular kind of thing with new balance branding on the bag as well um so it's not like a big bulky pouch that's like sticking out and you're like you know getting it stuck on twigs and stuff while you're walking outdoors <laughs> um but yeah it's it's sort of like angled down towards like the forefoot so it's you know not in the way uh but yeah it's removable so if you don't you know if you don't want to use it just chuck it or whatever um <laughs> but yeah super dope i really like these these are i don't know the colors alone are just mm. crazy uh it's it's just i don't know Really good. Uh, some t- it, it dropped sometime in 2022, sometime this year. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give this like a uh, C'est très joli. I think Adam. that orange, orange is like one of the best. Yeah, it's got orange color too. Yep. On, on like dark mm-hmm. sneakers like that. So I think the, the, the orange hits really work. Yeah. How many uh, knives could you fit in these little pockets there, Adam? <laughs> I was thinking, is that like a, a an updated version or a closed toe version of that Beams Crocs that they did last year? With the I saw those too. Yeah. Is that uh, is that the same idea? I mean, I don't know the shoe you're talking about, Joel. Is Maybe. that the same idea with the pouch on the back, a little snap, and everything removable? Yeah, yeah. You know, this one's like actually, the, it's on the laces. This is on the laces on the forefoot, like on yeah. the top of your foot, like where the where the lace. More accessible, really, if you think about it. You yeah. just bend down and boom, boom. And stab it's got like a zipper yeah. on the top. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And no, I don't wear Crocs. Let me just preface my comments earlier. Yeah, I don't wear Crocs. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah. No one, no one I, really. I would judge. I would judge. You're really <laughs> uh, defending it there for someone who claims they don't wear them. No one said you did. Um, <laughs> really deep cut with the beams pair, too. Like you had that. Yeah, like... no, no. I actually bought them for a friend. No bullshit. I bought them for a friend. That's how I know them. I had to get them from End and everything. I was really embarrassed they showed up in my house. But anyway. <laughs> Your friend friend's name Tadam Ayler. Friend. <laughs> yeah. Tadam Ayler. Um, <laughs> um speaking of Tadam Ayler, uh, what's your pick there, Adam? What do you got for us this week? <laughs> the only things I'm really looking forward to is the the pictures that keep dropping every couple of weeks for all the new Air Max that are coming out. So it's the 420 mm. pair that I really don't. I mean, I like them. But I don't give a shit about, you know what I mean? 420 is not my thing. So I think the colors are really cool. So I'd like those. And now they've released the root pair, which I actually think looks mm. a little better. Mm. But for me, the one that I'm most looking forward to is the third pair that they always show is the safari pair. The cobblestone yes. blue mini swoosh yeah. classic yeah. safari. No release dates. Uh, that's the shoe that I'm looking forward to for the rest of the year. Most from anything I've seen yet. So really looking forward to that drop. 
yeah those are they keep teasing them but they haven't yeah, actually like yeah. if, i don't know what the they're probably going to dig up some anniversary or some big reason to bring that there's got to be a reason those are coming back mm-hmm. so this keeps a, saying in the next i i so shows how much i know i assumed we were going to see them in air max mm-hmm. i really did and i know it was more 90s and you know then we had the the concept stuff that was big yeah but the air max that they did drop personally i didn't really you know i think they i don't want to say phoned it in but i wasn't a fan and mm. i thought that would have been a really great addition to the end of the month the end of march so i really Ooh. did think we were going to see that safari the two colored pairs i figured we were going to see a 420 and then after that yeah. pair. but i honestly thought we'd see the safari before march ended Mm-hmm. Wonder this at this point if that's what we see next year for Air Max Day. Ooh, not that I want. Enough? Sorry, you think it's special enough? I'm just asking. Or not Air Max Day, or like Air Max Month. I wonder if it's like yeah, could be just gonna wait until next year's Air Max Month um, and be one of the pairs because we haven't even seen like official images yet, and official images usually mean four to six months out, right? So mm-hmm. yeah. have you seen the customs? You see the customs pair that was floating around. Someone made all the pairs. I feel bad not remembering the guy's name, but someone made all the release pairs that Nike was teasing back in January and someone, some customizer actually made them all <laughs> and it was super cool. But no way. Yeah, like you dope. said, man, it could come out anytime between now and yeah. next March. Yeah. That's Ooh, the <laughs> very, yeah. very nice. I can't wait to not know what pair Alex is talking about. Um, Alex, yeah. what do you got for us? <laughs> Um, well, this, uh, this pair that I chose is the ZX 8000, uh, Kawasaki, um, collab. Um, I, the reason why I picked this pair is I think that I, I've, I've been seeing a lot of like people confused about this, the reason why this pair even like exists or whatever. And I think that there's a lot of like the storytelling that's, that's missing. Um, so Back in, I don't know, like, I think like 2015, 14, I got a book from Off the Hook here in Montreal. It's called it's called Addicted to Adidas, and it was made by Sneaker Tokyo. There was like a Puma edition and then like some other stuff. And in this amazing book, there's like interviews with collectors and designers and all that. And there was, a, there's, there was an interview with Jacques Chassing, the original designer of the ZX. And... Um, I brought the book to show you guys. I know it's not a it's not a video interview, but whatever. <laughs> but in the book, Jacques basically explains like the initial ideas behind like why some of the stuff he made in the 80s was made a specific or a certain way. And um the interviewer asks him, like, what where where does the name originate? Then he just says, I liked Kawasaki motor, uh, motorcycles and I thought it was a cool name. They were named ZX. So I decided to name my shoes ZX. Mm. And I think it's random. It's, it's extremely random, <laughs> but um, <laughs> like all of those years later, they're deciding to make like a Ninja color based, like Kawasaki ZX 8,000. I think it's like, it's kind of gimmicky, but at the same time, it's, it's a really cool, it's just a really cool thing. Yeah. Um, I think it's historically speaking, I think it's a, it's a great, it's a great thing to, to execute. Um, the shoe kind of has some bo- buzz like ear vibes to it. Like it's yeah, very yeah. like neon mm-hmm. green dominated <laughs> and it has like this very bright kind of like shiny chromey, like yeah. the thing on the side, which I mean, not knowing shit about motorcycles and I'm, I'm not sure how, um, how crazy I'm going to go for that shoe. But if it happens to, land in canada anytime soon and goes on sale i might uh, entertain because i think it's just a cool history piece to add to the collection i think it's i think it's a cool moment for zx but it, it, it definitely needs some some storytelling and some a little bit more information uh around it to understand why anyone would want to add this if they're not who wasn't friends. yeah well, well alex apparently in 13 hours and 43 minutes and 44 seconds 43 seconds 42 seconds the <laughs> release on uh, adidas.ca you're joking. Oh, you're joking. I, I just hopped on the website just now and it's like on there and the the, the timer's there right now sir there you so go while you guys are listening confirm to this, you know, I'll, I'll like how much do go for uh i'm seeing 150 right, one, one, six, 150 yeah. oh 150 wow, cad which is pretty good yo considering yeah 
I, I've seen um, I've seen product photos, and I think that they have like a leather lining inside. Yeah, it looks like the whole like. thing is like good, a man. really nice leather, actually. I yeah. Think, yeah, tend to avoid leather lining because right, Cause yeah, it's, it's just hot. get really sweaty and hot. Yeah, yeah. And we're in April, soon to be in the summer, and it Whoa. gets really hot in Quebec in the summer. So I don't know if true. I don't know if if leather lining does anything good on me, but uh, I'll definitely entertain them. Um, mm. If they go on sale, so you're gonna oh. buy them in 13 hours and 42 seconds. Stop yeah. lying. You're, you're good. You the what the swiftness with which you picked up your cell phone to check yeah. and you're scrolling <laughs> through right now. He's he's, he's, he's yeah, he's, yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's signing he's up. Gonna, he's he's signing up already. He said a reminder, bro. A reminder. Maybe if it goes on sale, literally the day after, he's gonna be posting. It, it is a cool shoe, man. It's it's a it's it's a cool shoe. It just I don't know how much I would wear it. You know, like how much wear it would get. Like you said, it's a collector's piece. It is definitely mm-hmm. a shame that there's no like I'm, I'm on like sneaker news and there's no storytelling attached to it. Yeah, um, which is a big big shame. It's it's cool that it has like it's an actual collaboration. Like it has like the Kawasaki on the toe um it's got like i didn't even i realized this i thought this was just like the medial side but it's like they're mismatched so like the left foot has ninja instead of three stripes it literally just has ninja across the side of it and on the mm-hmm. right foot it has the three stripes like that's really cool that they completely got rid of all this there's no branding yeah. on the left foot at all because that's the also the foot that has kawasaki on the tongue yeah. tag so there's no mm-hmm. adidas branding on that foot which is like really really cool actually. They um, um they did um I think they did a next uh, like a like a release execution with Overkill in Germany, as per usual for kind of like any good ZX right. And uh, I just posted in my stories if you guys want to go check it like you guys not the listeners but you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is some really bad content. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to go check it out? They're uh, like one of the ZX collectors from uh, Europe. Like he posted an unboxing, and I think it comes in a really cool like black and green mm. like box so yeah. you know, like great execution man it's, i think yeah. it's just like some storytelling so here i am telling the stories yeah That's you it. are single-handedly you are <laughs> gonna you you're gonna make you sell out yeah you're gonna sell out this, shoot. this podcast yeah. if you want it will make it sell out episode well, 200 yeah. true size alex uji cypherson just <laughs> sold out the Kawasaki, I don't even Ka- know how he was. Kawasaki. Ka- Kawasaki, however he was pronouncing it, it sounds Kawasaki. better. Kawasaki. Kawasaki. He says it, yeah. Ka- Ka- yeah, he says it a lot more Kawasaki. French. I like it. Yeah. Kawasaki. Kawasaki. Um, yeah, that's that's a good one. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Um, next up, This Week in Kicks. This is the part of the show where we discuss the current headlines and happenings in the world of sneakers. And as we mentioned off the top, DJ Khaled said another one several several times um dj Khaled has been on team jordan for several years now um he's had a couple of sneakers of his own with the brand but most of them if not all of them if i can remember correctly have been friends and family um like exclusive so it actually hasn't seen the light of day for the public but it looks like now he's getting his own retail release times f- five six it's hard to tell um so he's from miami his uh Shoe model he's getting is a Jordan 5, which is a strange choice in my opinion. But they're being uh, draped in like pastel Miami Knights color themed um, color blocking. So literally, there's an entire purple shoe, an entire blue shoe, an entire green shoe, an entire white shoe. an entire. I, it's hard to tell because like, I mean, first of all, it's DJ Khaled. So nothing he says is ever very like articulate or clear about like what he's trying to say. <laughs> Nothing against him. He's a great. He's a great person. But uh, yeah, it's very hard to tell which of these pairs is actually coming out, which of them are samples, because like even just looking at all these pictures that are kind of circulating around on the Internet, some of them have like a regular Jordan 5 mesh. Some of them in place of the Jordan 5 mesh on the side panels have like suede. Some of them just like look like slightly different shades of purple. So like, are these both coming out or is one of them just a first sample as well? Like, Again, really, really unclear. Um, it definitely seems like there's more than one pair that's going to come out. It's just I have no idea which colors they're going to be. Um, but yeah, alongside the shoes, it looks like there's also going to be a clothing line because he's been teasing like a T-shirt, which is actually kind of nice. Um, but yeah, I, I my only take with this collection pack, whatever it is, um, is 
if they weren't DJ Khaled, they'd be really good, <laughs> which is like unfortunate. <laughs> like the the big we the best branding on the yeah. heel is like, mm, yeah, I don't know about that. Um, but like a, they're giving me like Macklemore vibes almost. Like Macklemore mm. had like his friends and family Jordan sixes, and like those were crazy. And he had like a whole full salmon Jordan six. Like there's a full salmon Jordan five. Like that's pretty fire. And then it's just the massive embroidered we the best on the heel. It's like maybe not but uh how's everybody i know adam is gonna hate it so i don't even need to ask but how does everybody feel about the collection colors are good yeah, yeah. Colors are dope. Colors I'll go are with that. i'm not a five fan and mm-hmm. i mean do i really care about that guy i mean why is he getting that kind of treatment but anyway i think the colors are great <laughs> it's not for me but the colors are great yeah the colors are very very good i like the colors a lot yeah, That's pretty much where it ends for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. colors are great. <laughs> good job, DJ Khaled. You chose good colors. <laughs> <laughs> well done, buddy. Um, all right, moving on from DJ Khaled. <laughs> Next up, previous link kicks. This is the part of the show where we review letters, pickups, and recap latest happenings in our sneaker lives. Let's go around the horn. It's actually for the first time in a while we recorded last week too, so probably not a whole lot to. Uh, report from us but uh joel anything on your end uh no nothing nothing over here nothing from joel alvin anything for you um no nothing for you oh but i did forget to mention that penelope my youngest daughter did get the air max one heavy pair um from the one and only tito lawrence over here um and yeah it was it was a I don't know if I've told everyone the story yet, but it was Air Max Day and there was an event and I, I put P in some Air Jordan 1 soft bottom. What was the event? It was a Soul Savvy Air Max Day Thanks. event. Savvy to the max. <laughs> um, Thank you. Shout out. <laughs> plug, plug, plug. But uh, yeah, and I, I couldn't find her Air Maxes, like her Air Max 90 infrareds. Uh, bad fathering, I know. So I put her in some Air Jordan 1 uh, UNC soft bottoms. Um, they were on brand, but unfortunately not on on brand because they weren't Air Max. And then, you know, Uncle Doggy here walks up with a cool box and like, happy birthday. And uh, yeah, that was in the story. I'm kind of jealous, though. They are nice shoes, but I must say they do look amazing in like the taller sizes. They yeah. look really good. Like so much better yeah. than men's pairs. But better, he says. Uh, wow. Oh, Ooh. yeah, for sure. Wow. And the detailing that they were able to put in there, too, was. Yes. Chef's kiss. So. But that's it. No, no purchases for me. I'm good. They executed the toddler pair on all three of those. I believe they all three of them came in toddler sizing phenomenally. And I yeah, think the reason crazy. they were able to do that is because from what it looks like, all three, even the men's ones were all cut and sew. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. So it's a lot easier to because you're not going off of a mm. mold as much as you are literally just recreating it in smaller sizing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they True. crushed it and they look like Alvin said, they looks like I, when I took the toddler pair out of the box already owning the men's one, I was like, damn, these look like really good. Yeah. Like one of the more impressive baby <laughs> shoes I've seen from yeah, any facts. brand, like really, really good. Like worthy of like keeping after the fact, like not one of those that you're just like <laughs> getting rid like we're just to yeah. look at. No hand-me-downs for those pairs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No. Sorry. You can't get these, bud. <laughs> bud. <laughs> damn, your bud. Canadian came out there, bud. Um, <laughs> So I do only have one thing. And so in in the last couple of weeks slash months, I've been having these instances where things just show up by accident. Mm. And, yeah. you know, you know, the one, you know, the vibes. Um, <laughs> so and wink, wink, they haven't actually been accidents. So this one. I can <laughs> confidently say was an actual accident. And I was literally like, what the fuck did I just do? Mm. Um, not luckily, not that expensive. Thank goodness. But I was literally, so I think Jill was grocery shopping and I was like, I'm going to sit in the car. And I, <laughs> I went on the Supreme app, literally just like looking at, <laughs> literally just like looking around. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And like, they had this hat and I was like, that's a nice hat. I wonder what it would cost like shipped. Um, so I went to like the payment page and I was like, oh, I'll check with PayPal because it'll show me like the total, like after everything. (laughs) 
Mm-hmm. So I, I didn't and know. You I, don't I didn't know. I didn't. <laughs> it's one of those ones where like he trips no, and accidentally, accidentally no, his no, finger no, grazes. No, 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 I didn't fill out any information on the app, on the actual app. I clicked PayPal and it took me to PayPal. And it was like, we recognize your device. I was like, dope. Thanks, PayPal. Um, Shows me the total. It's like, whatever, $70 US after shipping. And it was like, click here to be redirected before you're completing your purchase. I was like, Mm -hmm. okay, cool. I swear to God, it said that. It said like, you know what it says? Like, you will not, whatever it says. I don't know. You know, it says like, click here to be redirected before you complete your purchase or whatever it says. I clicked Ooh. that just to go to like the final screen. Like, is there another chart? Like what's going on? On the, I've never actually bought something from the Supreme <laughs> app. I've actually never used the app. Click the button <laughs> expecting to be redirected to like a submit and pay page. And all of a sudden it just starts spinning and loading. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Say la vie. I was like, oh dear. Um, Oh, oh, shoot, darn it. (laughs) They gave it to you, bro. They gave it to me. As Bob Ross would say, that was a happy accident. Um, But it's actually this hat that I'm wearing right now. It's like (laughs) orange and it's like, it's a nice, it's a good looking hat. You you didn't Uh, ask for a refund. I I don't think you can get refunds from Supreme, but no, I didn't. Anyways, that was my accidental, accidental, actual, mm. actual, whether you believe it or not, it was an accident. <laughs> um, whether I had intent on it, eventually buying it is a different question. But in, in that moment, it was an accident. Yeah. So that's it for me. Um, Adam, any purchases or pickups in the last couple of weeks Years. for you? Year. Yeah. <laughs> Since the last <laughs> time you've been on. <laughs> uh, last pair was the Concepts Mellow. So it's Ooh. been a couple weeks. That was the last pair, yeah. Was that your favorite from nice. the pack? It actually was the most boring, which is completely shocking that it was the most my favorite from the pack. Knowing me on brand, I should be the tackiest one. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. no, that was the one I wanted. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's why I asked. I was kind of shocked yeah. that that's, yeah. But the way out of one of the other ones wouldn't have been higher on the list. But no, that was the one I wanted. Well, happy for you then. Very good. You've changed, Adam. Yeah, you've I, changed. Don't know if I, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> the brand is still tacky shit. But that one, for some reason, that pack, that was the one that won for me. Hmm. Ooh. Well, glad you got what you wanted. Um, Suji, anything mm-hmm. recently for you? Yes. Um, so I, I, I have an accident to share after mm. the first. <laughs> Another accident. It's an issue, man. It is. It is. It's an issue. issue. Those those (laughs) automatic payment apps. Like, it's the worst thing. But um, so I I was eyeing this Atmos special makeup pair of Forum Lows for a little while. Mm. It was a Japan exclusive Forum Low inspired by the. Yo Yogi Park in Shibuya City, if I believe oh. I'm right. These dropped a few months ago. There was a ZX 8000 as well, but the forum really caught my eyes. Uh, it has these really big, like woodland vibes. It's like green and beige and yellow and green. And it's just like it's, it just looks so good with uh, gold uh, lace tips and. I was seeing that the pairs on StockX were kind of like going under the $200 mark, which I thought for a Japan shipped shoes was kind of reasonable, right? A shoe that was mm-hmm. only released in Japan, I thought it was like reasonable. So I started to to play the low bid games on StockX, which is never the worst. It's It's not the best, but it's not the worst idea either. <laughs> it's just like, it's, it's a strategy. Um, and uh, a seller started to play the game against me. Oh, <laughs> so my like my I had a like a threshold like price that I was I didn't want to pay because like it was like with taxes and shipping and all that like it would go over two hundred bucks and I was like I can't do that. 
So I started to play the game of just like adding a dollar every now and then to my bid. <laughs> and the guy on the other side was like removing a, do- a dollar every now oh and then. God. And then I feel like the guy was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just, like, <laughs> I'll give this guy what he wants. And uh, he ended up uh, biting on my price. So like, so I got them for under 200 bucks. And um, when I got them in hand, this is like, like for people that know, like, the, the good consortium Adidas days, like this is like some premium consortium quality like shoes. Um, it's just a regular box though, which is kind of unfortunate, but the sneaker itself is, is just, is just pure beauties. Mm. Um, and then Saturday morning, I'm at the mall with my girlfriend and um, another accident. Damn it. I'm just, I'm just like picking up clay <laughs> for my, my hair, like, uh, you know like styling a styling product mm. it's, it's a very casual saturday morning and where i'm just like not thinking about anything other than picking up this 15 dollars stupid hair clay from my hair and uh i got a confirmed app notification saying that i just spent 440 dollars oh, shit <laughs> <on a hair. laughs> easy 700 easy 700 yeah i, I flip and i'm like shit <laughs> Put yeah. down the hair gel. <laughs> yeah, no. the hair gel. I'm shaving my head again. No, but uh, I, it's like I've been very unlucky with confirm, like very unlucky. And I know people that are, like score all the time, so I keep signing up. You know, just just for shits and giggles, just to feel and something. Just you know, and. Then- um it happens that this shoe is a shoe that I really wanted. It's just like the timing is not right. So the timing is never right for four hundred. Never right for four hundred and forty dollars. Yeah. 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 No, it's just it doesn't make sense. And it brought me back to it brought me back. Sorry to the days that I was working at as a store manager at the Adidas store, and I would buy all of these three fifty V twos like almost every other two weeks, and. Man, that's stupid. Like <laughs> <laughs> buying a 350 V2 or buying them every two weeks? Both. Okay. You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I have the shoes. I really wanted the, the statics. Like uh, mm. all jokes aside, I, it's 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 a 700 that I really wanted. Like it's just, I think my style has has changed a lot and the stuff that I love to wear right now and the stuff that I love to use to create like styles and fits, I don't necessarily need the $400 plus shoes. Well, I've never needed that, but <laughs> I don't think anyone needs no need that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm, um, I've listed some stuff on eBay and my, my mission is to pay off the shoe like in quotation mm. marks like just to pay off the shoe before i decide if i'm gonna wear it or not mm. mm. oh so it's 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 here it's actually in in my drawer like some somewhere there like but i'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm not looking at it until it's actually uh, traded for or some shit like that because mm. it was it was a bad it was a really bad like timing so here's the thing about accidents, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, you should have seen me. My, my, my life changed. for the day. <laughs> like, I was in a good mood, man. Like it was, a, it was a great day. You know what, what else happened on that day? I like, but bef- like between my house and the mall, there's three Tim Hortons. And I was trying to get these new <laughs> beyond me breakfast sandwich. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if it's the same for you guys in Ontario, but in Quebec, we have this like, um, it's uh it's called penury de main d'oeuvre so there's not enough workers for all the jobs that are available okay so Ooh. tim hortons since the beginning of the pandemics uh of the pandemic like they have like these very long and stupid like lineups at the Line um, at the at the drive through and so i couldn't get the sandwich at the first one i couldn't get the sandwich at the at the, at the second one and then we got to the mall and the tim hortons at the mall was closed on a saturday oh. morning because they don't have enough labor <laughs> Shit. But still, I was smiling. <laughs> it was a great day. Yeah. And then that happened, and I was like, shit, I should be celebrating, but I'm I'm like crying. You're like, sorry, babe, we're not eating for the whole day. We're not yeah. eating yeah. beyond meat. No more beyond meat sandwiches for no the rest of the month. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So that's hot that's dogs what. only. 
Voilà. Just a different kind of beyond yeah. meat. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that is beyond meat, and that's meat beyond. That's just, <laughs> meat beyond. <laughs> that's just something else. Um, all right, next up, thumbs up, thumbs down. On this part of the show, we give our opinion on various sneaker-related topics with zero context or discussion. All we're allowed to say is thumbs up or thumbs down. And we're starting to see this a little bit more often. Started with the uh, Nike Dunk Low SB Civilist um, last year, where like when it gets hot or under UV light, it changes color. And it adds mm. like, you know, like the whatever. Um, but in regular light, or I guess in darkness, I don't know actually how much I actually know about this. Um, it's just like it's black or white or plain. So the thumbs up, thumbs down for this week is the temperature sensitive color changing shoes. Thumbs up or thumbs down. I'm thumbs down. Alex. Thumbs down as well. Alvin. I'm going way, 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 way down. Joel. I'm going to say thumbs up. There we go. Adam. Joel and I are old enough to remember hypercolor and all that stuff <laughs> yeah. growing up. That shit was cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> we are old. We remember when that I just remember out. Hot Wheels. You dip it in the exactly. water. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. See, we're the dip, old guys on the show. my that foot cool. in the water. <laughs> Back when it was the new cool thing. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So Back when Hot Wheels was the new cool thing. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> um, all right. So let's move on to NSR here. And uh, I hope everybody has an answer for this because we are all very, very soft on the inside. Um, we talk about sneakers a lot. So in this weekly segment, we're going to take 30 seconds out of the show to discuss something completely irrelevant from the world of sneakers. And this week, very plain and simple. Everyone has like fears. Everyone is afraid of things but what are some or what is one of your irrational fears we've done like irrational annoyances that was a fun episode um what is an irrational fear something you're based you're scared of this thing or whatever but it's very irrational and is obviously never going to actually happen or hurt you or harm you or whatever um alvin go ahead go first (laughs) Uh, it's only irrational because people keep saying it's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> you sound like a conspiracy theorist already, but go ahead. <laughs> I know. But, uh, but the zombie oh, apocalypse that Adam is ready for, yeah. that's, I mean, it's not even a fear because I'm ready for it because obviously Adam's ready for it too. But um, people keep saying it's not going to happen. And my fear is that it won't happen. <laughs> <You're-> <laughs> 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 people are scaring me and saying it's not gonna happen <laughs> but i want it to happen I want it. i'm ready i got all the pocket knives leatherman canada tm is gonna help me add <laughs> hashtag spawn con um <laughs> All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go next because I had to take a second to think about it. I am uh, turning 30 years old this year. That's not the, that's a different irrational fear. Um, I'm turning 30 years old this year and I've never been stung or bitten by a bee, wasp, hornet. Anything. I don't know how I made my entire life. As, like, I had, didn't have no fun as a child. Like I was up there in the, in the streets, you know this. Um, yeah, never. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Out out here. Um had never been stung by a bee ever. And now it's like one of those things when you've avoided it for so long, it's like, nah, fuck it. I'm going my whole I'm going, I'm batting a thousand. I'm doing this forever. <laughs> so now it's like, oh yeah, arms flailing, like whipping around to get away from any sort of <laughs> bumblebee or wasp or whatever. Like, I'm not, no, I'm just and it's not I don't know if it was a fear because I know it's not gonna hurt. It's more just a fear of having to be part of the club of people who have been bitten or stung by a bumblebee or wasp, you know, like, I'm like, no, I'm not like those people. I'm better than those people. I've never been stung by a bumblebee. (laughs) Yo, the first time I got stung by a bumblebee was when I turned 30. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Stop this. That's And then like, you know how they're like, you know how they're like, oh, you got to pull out the stinger. I pulled out this. They don't bro, say that. Like, That's the opposite of what they say. <laughs> <laughs> what? You pull out Who the singer. You get to go. No. 
They don't say that because then you squeeze. Why would you the leave venom. this stinger in there? If you pull it out, you squeeze the venom into your body. You're supposed to take a see. I am prepared for the inevitability of it happening. You're supposed to take like a credit card or something and like slide it out, like slide oh. the stinger out. Nah, bro, just take that shit out, bro. What the All fuck? right, you inject yourself with bumblebee poison, and I, I won't. did, and now I'm superhuman. <laughs> and look at you now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm fucking lit. lit. I can talk to them now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, Alex, irrational. What's your irrational fear other than not getting beyond meat breakfast sandwiches? What is one of your <laughs> irrational fears? Um, I am terrified of masks, like not masks, like not not uh, face masks. Not oh, you're masks. one of those. Oh, I'm, I'm afraid of like I understand Halloween masks. Like, oh, oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was, Halloween like, masks. Yeah, I was like traumatized as a kid. Mm. Uh, like I was eight years old, and I didn't go to school on Halloween day until I was like sixteen or seventeen. That's what? Like, oh shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I even worked like I worked downtown, like taking the transit every day, and for five or six years, I didn't take the metro on Halloween day, f- fearing to f- see someone with a mask. With a mask. Wow. Damn. But I, I've overcome that fear. But like, if I see someone with a mask on, I feel very uncomfortable. Mm. Yeah. So would you say that you oh. are an anti-masker then? Anywho. <laughs> Next, <laughs> um, Joel, <laughs> what's your irrational fear? All right, so my irrational fear is um, doomsday, <laughs> like you know, end of the world, man. Like, you know, that's my fear. Like, the fuck, <laughs> <laughs> yep, you what know, the fuck indeed, yeah, yeah, like <laughs> nobody knows when the sun's gonna burn out. Don't look up, you know. Don't look up, yeah. So that's that. That's just like one of the irrational fears that I got. I think of all of them, that's the most rational thus far, in my honest opinion. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm honestly terrified to ask, but Adam, what is one of your irrational fears? Yeah. <laughs> I'm too dumb to have fears. I mean, yes, <laughs> she'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> And there's like I'm scared to death that I'm gonna do something stupid because nothing really scares me. The only irrational fear, like seriously, is the dentist. Oh. I'm petrified to go to the dentist, and it's been years, and I'm embarrassed to admit it. And there's no yeah. reason. I mean, there's there's no reason, but it's irrational fear for you. Call it that for a reason, right? That's mine. Yeah. No real Good. fears of anything. I'm just scared of the damn dentist. Dentist. Yeah. yeah. That's a real fear. That's a. That I don't is. like the I don't like the dentist either. I don't. Oh, yeah. your gums are bleeding. Yeah, you're using a knife to stab exactly. them. Like no <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think was gonna? I'm glad. Good. I'm human. Thank goodness. They're bleeding. <laughs> um, they should be bleeding more. Um, all right, we're gonna close this thing out here. And as promised, as advertised, as lied to Adam about, we have we have a quiz. To end the show, because that's you. what we do. That's what we're known for. That's what I. That's why Adam loves us. That's why he's here. Mm-hmm. But there's a there's an ulterior motive to the two guests that we chose this week. We chose one Adidas guy and one <laughs> Nike guy. Oh, so looks. what we're gonna do is we're gonna quiz Alex on Nike and Adam <laughs> on Adidas. Sure. And we're going to see who comes out on top. You each have four questions. Wow. <laughs> Adam's like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm like, I got zero on the last one. So, I mean, what do I got to lose? It's all up from here. You know? And that was about Nike. <laughs> exactly. So, let's go. Whatever. That was about it's Nike Air low. Max. Like, literally, like, your middle yeah. name. Like, oh, God. Alex looks genuinely concerned. All right. let's start this off we're going to start with you alex the question is 
Where is Nike's world headquarters located? Portland, Oregon. Oh, oh, oh. you put an ah, accent on good. that too, bro. Damn. Is that in Very France? Fine. Oregon, 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 France. <laughs> All right, there, that's one point for Alex. See, easy. He was like sweating. Um, Adam, where is Adidas World headquarters located? Somewhere in Germany. I'm gonna accept. Far, I'm gonna guy? accept that. I'm gonna accept somewhere in Germany. <laughs> I'm only gonna say I accept that because there's no way I can pronounce the city name. Alex, <laughs> thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's in Bavaria, Bavaria. <laughs> what you call my mama? <laughs> Hair, Hero, Hair. Keep my wife's <laughs> name. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that's not anyone's right. wife's name. <laughs> A fun fact about that city is that the Puma headquarters is, is in the same city. The global headquarters, I think, mm. in the same city. Yeah. Well, you're just giving Adam answers now. Congratulations. <laughs> you you want to lose, I oh, guess. So <laughs> close my microphone here. Herzog in Iraq is the correct answer. I look it up. I don't even want to spell it out. It's like 15 letters. It's going to take the whole rest of the podcast. Um, cool. All right, Alex. Question number two for you. What year was Nike founded in? Ooh. There's two answers that I'll accept for this, by the way. Oh my god. I have absolutely can I get a hint on the decade? It's in the 1900s. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> Century. <laughs> Century. Okay, uh fuck. Man, I feel I feel sneaker dumb now. Like um, I don't know. I'll say like 66. That's very close. So it? it was so Blue Ribbon Sports, what they were initially called, was founded in 64. So I would have accepted that. Nike was 1972. So I would have also accepted that. Yo, I was going to say 72, but Adidas's Trefoil logo was um, was officialized in 72. And I was like, it's impossible that it. Wow. Like, things happen. I don't take notes, bro. Are you listening, Adam? <laughs> no. Alex is just like, yeah. Alex, <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? say that again. Repeat that again. Alex wants you to win. Like, I think that he, <laughs> no way. There's no way to, for Alex to not talk about Adidas knowledge, like at every second of the day. <laughs> like, <laughs> even if, even when he gets asked the question yeah. about Nike. <laughs> even if yeah. <laughs> He dropped some Adidas yeah. knowledge on you twice. <laughs> yeah. Twice. <laughs> all right. Well done, Alec. You got it wrong, but well done. Um, <laughs> all right, Adam. I'm sure you know what's coming. What year was Adidas <laughs> founded? Uh, I mean, I have zero clue, but I'm going to say like the 20s, like 1920. Like it was a long ass time before Nike. So I'm going to say 1921. Incorrect. It okay. did. <laughs> 1949. Oh, oh, close. You're close, bro. Oh, Very, yeah. Two decades. Two decades. Wait, you're, okay. you're sure. Um, Alex, any any facts about 1949 you want to give us? I'm going to talk until Thank the you. next okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, your third question. We're tied at 1-1 one, one right now. I should have oh. come, come up with a tiebreaker because it may stay like that. <laughs> Alex. Okay. Yes. What was the first Nike model to feature Nike Air? Oh fuck! Um, oh man, I, I want to say the Air Max One, but I'm not sure if it's that or the Air Force One. I think the Air Force One is the first with a full bubble unit, but the Nike Air Max One is the first one. So the original question I had for this was what was the first Nike model to feature exposed air and uh, Nike Air Max it. one would have been correct, but right. that was not the question. It right. was Nike air and the correct yeah. shoe is the Nike tailwind uh, in 1978. Damn. Really? Damn. Yes. Tailwind. Yeah. Wow. Tell me what, yeah. What do you got about 78? Anything good? Really? <laughs> about Adidas? What came up with the Tailwind, the tailwind the looks like a very um, 
old kind of like like waffled like shit. Yeah, I, yeah. I would have never guessed it had uh, air. This is the Nike t- Air Tailwind, yes. Hey, look, Alex, we got to switch books, man. I'm going to send you she <laughs> and you send me the... Yeah, exactly. We're going to switch books go. so we can both learn on this <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Adam, you haven't read Shoe Dog. Read Shoe Dog yeah. first. Okay. Long time ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Long time ago. But you know my memory. You know how bad it is? So yeah, yeah. exactly. Wondering if even if we switch these quizzes, if Adam would still only be at one. <laughs> I would have said Air Max one because I missed it. I would have done the exact same thing going exposed yeah. air. And I remember mm-hmm. when that came out. And I would have answered it without thinking. I would have said it instantly because I got I would have got it wrong. You would have got it wrong. Speaking of would have got it wrong, Adam, it's your turn. <laughs> Adam, <laughs> what was the first Adidas model to feature Boost? Alex is going to explode. Um, <laughs> I know Alex's face right now is like, I know. <laughs> I I mean, it shows how little I know. I mean, the first one I had was the Ultra Boost V1. And that's about all I know. So I've got to answer that because I genuinely have no clue. Do you want to answer it, Alec? You look like you're gonna like have. No, no, no. Like, I actually, you know what? Like, I, I have an, I, I have an idea, but I'm sure you have a precise answer. But I can answer. It is. Want. What do you think? I think it's the Energy Boost from 2013. That is correct. It is the Adidas yes. Energy Boost from 2013. Yeah. It was the first Adidas model to the feature OG Boost. boost. Yeah. For those of you keeping track at home, they are still tied at one one. Um, Coming down to the last question here. Ooh. Number four for Alex Suji Cyphersons, a polarizing figure in the world of fashion and footwear mm-hmm. has been at both Adidas and Nike. Alex, can you name three different Nike Yeezy sneaker nicknames, colorways, whatever you want? Ooh. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, shit. Red October. One, yep. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nike Air, easy. I think it's solar, solar something. <laughs> Wait, okay, so there's the black pair, <laughs> black pair, and then there's the kind of like the beige ish looking one, and then, then there's the red October. Yeah, that's not gonna count. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, solar, no, not solar, solar something, black, black something. <laughs> okay, okay, red October, solar December. I think, I think what you're looking for is solar red, solar red. Um, mm. yeah, that, yeah, you said it, sure. Um, pure platinum, there was pure also platinum, in the easy ones, there was blink. Black and pink. Um, mm. There was tan, sure. and there was net. Um, net. I don't know, all right, man, Adam. Solar, solar December was pretty good. Solar December. I like is, the solar December. That was good. You gotta go with that. Sounds yeah. like a cover band for like a seventies like punk or some. I don't know. Solar yeah. December. Yeah, like a. I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right, Adam. This one's a little bit easier for you, so I had to add a couple. But can you name five Adidas easy sneaker nick, sneaker nicknames? Dude, I got no interest in that ass clown. Um, <laughs> or his trashy mm-hmm. shoes. Um, no, man. I mean, the zebras. One. Okay. One. Uh, the wave runners. Two. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Maybe it should have been three. <laughs> you're asking me because you know I have zero clue about anything. Well, I mentioned that's, one earlier. That's why it's a funny joke. I know. <laughs> Would you call them Desert Tan, the 700s? Is that what you called them? It, well, yeah. I, no idea, man. I, You know I zero. I own zero. Um, won't wear any of them. No idea. Well. Two for three, though. Y- sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I got to think of... I'm going to type a random sneaker history fact. All right. Neither of you are going to know this either. So I'll, I'll use this one. And if one of you knows it, then you win. What sneaker was the actual sneaker that was banned by the NBA 
that Michael Jordan wore? Nike Air Flight? Incorrect. No. Wasn't it just the ones? Wasn't it a no. colorway of ones? It was not the Jordan one. I have a student at school that did a research on this this week. Right. You I, should I, know I, it. I read it bad, with it. Bad teacher alert. I know, because I, I didn't care for shit. <laughs> oh, I was man. like, yeah, sure, research that. Boom, B plus. Yeah, good. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, I thought someone would get that. It's the Nike Air Ship. Ship. Oh. No. Don't <laughs> see I'm you. You saying it me. right after I say it, but really loud, does not mean that you got it right, Alex. That's <laughs> fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> we gotta have a tiebreaker episode, yo. It might have happened like two days ago or some shit like that. Like for real. <laughs> Damn. We gotta come back on episode three hundred if, if anyone listens, <laughs> and we'll do it again. And we'll do something different this time. And we'll break it next time, Alex. I think that <laughs> the world is at peace. There is Zen. There is harmony and leaving you two tied at one, one. I think yeah, the, the Nike versus out. Adidas thing never works. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it worked exactly how I thought it was going to. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you guys both for being good sports. Thank you for being bad sports. Also. Um, I appreciate you guys for coming on. This was yeah. very, very fun. It was much smaller and more intimate than episode 100 but it was just as fun mm-hmm. this was very very cool um to have both of you guys on thank you guys for showing up appreciate you i know it's past adam's bedtime so i don't want to keep him too much longer um once again from all of us at canada god soul we appreciate you guys for listening uh for 200 episodes that's like 200 plus hours at least considering our episodes go <laughs> an hour 20 minutes each so uh yeah, shout out to you guys for listening. How many days is 200 hours? Alvin, Alvin go. What? How many days is 200 hours? At quickly, least. Quickly. 10. Not at least. No, that's wrong. That's not right. How many days is like 8.33333. Thank you. Thank you for the facts, Joel. For, you didn't even use a calculator. That was impressive. Yeah. I did. Um, so, yeah, we appreciate everybody for listening for 8.3333 days. Um, that's very, very cool. Uh, yeah, we do this because we like it. Um, so we'll be here until episode a billion. If you'll have us, whether you actually, whether, even if you don't want to have, us, we're still going to keep doing it. So, Fuckers. um, yeah. See you guys at episode a billion, uh, wherever you guys are taking in this episode, <laughs> please leave a comment, review, follow and or subscribe. Make sure to check out Canada got sold.ca to shop the latest merch, peep the YouTube for our videos and check out CGS talk on Facebook to chop it up with us. Don't forget to use hashtag Canada got sold on Instagram for a feature. I've been Lawrence Hopkins and you can find me at L doggy styles. Wolf. I'm Joel Hernandez. You can find me at Joe Dooney, J-O underscore D, three O's N-E-Y. My name's Alvin Quincy, and you can find me at M-I-S-T-E-R-Q and then Mart. Alex, where can they find you? Slowly, can- slowly, slowly. Because you always say it too fast, and it doesn't sound like a word. Yeah. You can find me. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Not that part. <laughs> <laughs> at Suji Cypher Sons on Instagram. Thank you for the mm. Um, mm. And, uh, Adam. Where can they find you? Uh, sneak a closet on Instagram. See, see, Alex, why can't you just be? I know, like, mm, I know. Come on. Maybe, <laughs> maybe a name change. Anyways, um, thank you for listening to us. Talk about sneakers for 200 episodes. And please remember to rock your kicks. This has been true to size. We have been CGS, Alex and Adam, and we are out. Hey. Thanks, guys. Yay. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Appreciate you, Adam. Appreciate you, Alex. Thanks, Adam. Dope. Thanks, Alex. It was very lovely. It wasn't too bad. That's not oh. saying it was good, but it wasn't too painful. <laughs> yeah. Airship. That's basically airship. the plateau we try to stick to the status quo of not too bad. Yeah. Didn't they yeah. just drop an airship pack? Is that yeah. what I should have known like a year ago, a year and a half ago? Yeah. Yep. yeah. When you said it, I'm like, shit, I remember that pack now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah.